two persons will share in telling us about new beginnings for school and college and what they will bring to those experiences. Gracie and Shavani. I now invite Shavani to the podium. <laughs> Sorry. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Today, I will be talking to you about my new beginnings. As you may know, I have recently graduated from high school and currently I'm attending Excelsior Community College. I'm heading, <laughs> I am heading into, <laughs> Thank you. I'm heading into my fourth week of new classmates, new teachers, new schedules, new friends, and even new clothes. As <laughs> as the dress code is far from different and way more comfortable than normal uniforms. The only downside I would say is thinking about what to wear in the morning. <laughs> Regarding my studies, everything is fairly new and interesting. As I'm doing an associate's degree in graphic design, I only have five core classes with only two being taught every day leaving lots of time to relax and maybe go through what the teacher taught in class. <laughs> Why I chose Excelsior Community College? Well, at the age of 16, I was a bit too young to enroll into University of West Indies or UTEC. But Excelsior Community College, which is pretty much a five to 10 minute walk away from my home, offered my course and even allowed me to resit one of my CSEX chemistry, which sadly I failed. Through all of my years of school, my mother would always sorry. Through all my years of school, my mother would always say, "Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort, and intelligent execution." <laughs> it represents. It represents the wise choice of many alternatives. Choice, not chance, deter determines your destiny. That is a quote from Aristotle. I started school early with preschool at age two. At age four, I started prep school, which, weirdly enough, I spent only a week. After that week, I remember my mom directing me to a completely different classroom. Then I found out that I was being placed from absolute kindergarten to intermediate one, a stopgap created for children who were considered too young for actual grade one. I'd ask my mom why, and she'd always say to me, you are just a bit too advanced for kindergarten. Well, due to me doing Intermediate 1, when the end of the year came around, I thought I'd be moving from my Intermediate 1 into Grade 1. Sadly, they moved me into actual Grade 1, so I had to repeat the entire year. With that little personal letdown, I went through my primary school, school years fairly well. And at the time, we had GSAT, not PEP which I did at age 11 and passed with a 94.5 average. For high school, I had decided to go to Jamaica College, where I spent two good academic years, which sadly I had to leave due to a few behavioral issues. <laughs> at the time, I was moved to Kingswear High School, where I spent the rest of my beautiful secondary school years. At age 15, I entered fifth form and proceeded to sit my CSEC exams, CSEC exams, where I did seven subjects and passed six of them, with two ones for math and English, two twos for EDPM and biology, and two threes for integrated science and physics, and a four for chemistry. With high school over, after my exams, it was time to look around for a choice for tertiary education, and 
As I said, I found my perfect college, Excelsior Community, where I am, as I said, currently doing an associate's degree in graphic design and animation. Lisa Husby once said, if there is one thing I have learned in my life, it is that nothing is permanent. Things happen, things change, and because of this, we all have to face new beginnings over and over. Um, thank you for listening. I'd kind of like to invite Gracie to the podium on her new beginnings. Good morning, all you lovely people. <laughs> um, as mentioned, my name is Grace Alvante, not Gracie. And today I was asked to come up here and share my, my new beginning. In other words, my transition from prep school to high school. I recently graduated Mona Preparatory School and am now attending Arden High School. Yay! <laughs> um, now, moving from grade school to form school is a transition that almost everyone has to go through. And some people go to high school thinking, yes, I've made it. I've stepped up the ladder and I'm ready to achieve my dreams. And then there are people like me who go to high school thinking, yep, here we go again. More homework, more books, more stress. But I have to do it anyways. Um, but I'm not going to lie, going to high school was a terrifying change. I felt like I would be that one person by themselves, sitting at lunch, just eating a sandwich, and everyone would just walk past. And of course, I had a few friends coming from my old school, but I expected them to just make new friends and move on. That was a complete opposite of what happened. My friends didn't really seem to move on for me. We kind of just stuck together. Um, and I did manage to make friends. One friend in particular, which was the first person I spoke to that I didn't know, um, her name was Jasmine, and I was watching her when I was eating with my friends because she seemed a bit goofy. Um, and then I looked down at her books and realized that one of the, her notebooks was a 21 Palettes notebook. And I immediately knew I had to talk to her. For those of you who don't know, 21 Pilots is a band, one of my favorite bands. And so I mustered up the courage and I went over and I spoke to her. I was like, hey, I like your book. I saw you were interested in this music. Is there anything else you're interested in? And then after that, we just clicked. We had so many things in common. We liked the same music, shows, everything, pretty much. And then she introduced, her to, introduced me to some of her friends and I introduced her to mine. And after that, we sort of had this friend group and we seemed to be inseparable. We'd meet every day at lunchtime. Speaking of lunchtime, um, I have a few complaints. <laughs> uh, see, at prep school, or yeah, at prep school, I'm used to having two breaks. One where you just eat a little snack so you can, you know, wake up, and then one at lunchtime where you can get the energy to go through the rest of this stressful day. Now we only have one lunchtime, and it's 40 minutes long, and in that time, we have to get let out of class late, then wait, into, wait in a line to Jerusalem to get blessed by Jesus to order your lunch, and then another line... <laughs> and then another line to go and actually pick up the lunch and then eat it and then not be late to class. And as I said, you can't be late to class because some of the teachers are just so, ugh, like they seem so stressed out and you don't even know what's wrong. You feel like you blink too hard, they're mad at you. And then you have the really nice teachers, the ones that just seem like, wow, are you really a teacher? Um, Personally, I have found one of my favorite teacher, teachers, my DT teacher, which is design techniques. I do not know his name yet because there are way too many to remember, but I will figure it out, I swear. And then you have the teachers who are strict, so, so strict, like the slightest thing wrong in your uniform. They're like, detention, demerit, off with your head. And you're just like, 
why? It's, it's just a piece of fabric. <laughs> but the uniforms, what was Arden thinking? I feel like I go to school wearing a blue potato sack, and I don't appreciate that I can't move my legs more than a foot apart. And then the P.E. clothes, the P.E. clothes. It's like you're wearing a towel wrapped around your waist and they're like, oh well, go play sports in that, have fun. But then you have the actual sports themselves, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I'm not sure if you're surprised. But it's, oh, it's roughly my fifth week into high school and they're already having sports day parades so loud. I mean, I do enjoy seeing the children dress up in their house colors and parade around the school having fun, but the fun kind of gets taken away when it starts raining cats and dogs. And then when it rains, oh, the Arden River comes down. It's so hard to get anywhere. Everywhere is water and there's no place to really stay and sit comfortably like if you wanted to do your homework. And the mud, oh the mud, mud everywhere. Mud in the classroom, mud in the bathroom, and I can tell you the bathrooms are bad enough on their own. <laughs> but the rain does help to have a sort of greenery, a sort of scenic place to work in. The grass is so luscious and the trees, oh, you won't believe the difference that a few trees makes when it comes to being hot. And it's a good place to work in for now. And overall, overall, high school has been a very crazy change. And there's still so many things that I'll need to adjust to and I'll need to change. But with a little bit of hope, every day I can make it. Maybe I can make it through the next seven years. Thank you. I know. Thank you, Gracie, for that great grace. I'm sorry, I haven't seen her in a while, I forgot her name. Grace, thank you for that different, very, very funny new experience. <laughs> we will now be having the love offering. Ushers, please come forward.